The historic all-women's pay-per-view Evolutions match card is allegedly leaked, and allegedly it looks amazing! <laughs> Big news this week is that the Evolution match card is allegedly leaked. And it looks really good. It looks damn good. Amazing. So let's go through it. Some of the highlights of this leaked matchups. Match card featured some legends coming back. So Melina, Ivory, Kelly Kelly, and Beth Phoenix is mentioned to be coming back. That's awesome. As well as the cast of Netflix's Glow. Yeah. Uh, is gonna be on Carmela's talk show. Which I think is a great That's idea. That's awesome, yeah. <laughs> what do you think about the random pairing of Kelly Kelly and Alicia Fox? Well, first off, it's not random. I don't think it's random either, yeah. I guess you could say Team Barbie back in the day. <laughs> Her, my girl Eve, yeah. and Foxy. I think it could kind of like, I can actually see how this tag team Title match mm -hmm. could work because like the Divas of Doom could work yeah. heels or face. I mean, but probably heel most likely. And then Foxy can be like, hey girl. Like, cause you know, she has like split personality disorder. Yeah. <laughs> so she'll suddenly be face. I love that when that storyline was happening, Natalia would be on the commentary. It's and she's like, time. We are vegetables. People should eat vegetables. She would just keep saying, it's cry yeah. time. It's cry time. You're gonna cry, Kelly. You're gonna cry. <laughs> and they're like, ah. <laughs> yeah, on the mic. Little Barbie doll. <laughs> it was awkward, but it was brutal. It made me I'm, cringe. I was I'm like, sure oh my a God. lot of straight men were just loving it. Like, <laughs> saying, yeah, yeah, cry time. <laughs> Naomi versus Melina. It's been teased. Is there a past WWE superstar that you would love to get in the ring with? Melina. Do you think WWE actually? decided that match first or Naomi and Melina made that match happen? I so. definitely think the reaction from social media. Yeah. Cause, cause he, like a lot of people were like, oh shit, Melina? Melina? Everybody was like, oh shit. Like, Melina, people, hey girl, I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah, people are like really into Melina. Cause, Very, they were so upset when mm -hmm. she got released. Like I think if uh, social media was as huge as it is right now, back mm -hmm. then, Melina would have immediately got reinstated. And I know that people like talk about the backstage heat about Melina, but either way, she was always talked about. Yeah. She was a hot name. And then Ivory. This pairing was so out of nowhere. The fact <laughs> that Sasha and Bailey was not even in the women's tag team title match. And yeah. then also the pairing with Ivory is just like so out of nowhere. So yeah. I feel like that makes this almost more real. Because <laughs> if a fan wrote it, mm -hmm. they wouldn't put this in. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, it makes sense because I know her and Bailey had this like connection. Oh, did she? Bailey said she um, met her when she was younger and told her like that oh. she really wanted to be a diva when she grew up. And like I Ivory know about that. Like, yeah. told her like, you can do it. Like keep at it. Uh -huh. I believe in you. And she was like, I kept that with me. And oh. like, now I'm here. And Another notable point about this leaked match card is that they will be announcing the women's tag team title, which has been rumored for a while. I think. I'm gonna cry. Do you think they're gonna wait till that day to announce it? Or do you think they're gonna announce it beforehand? This match card is saying the announcement will be at that event. Well, I would assume that they're gonna do it before. Because, before, just like, to get the Because they're gonna attention. have all these girls going at it. We might even see some spilling, because mm -hmm. if the Iconics and everything are on SmackDown, but yeah. they're gonna have this match, they'll probably come to Raw, throw up some drama. Well, you know, if they do it at the event, that mm -hmm. would be historic, it would be yeah. amazing, people crying everywhere. I think that would be so great, So maybe too. they will. That's what they did with the women's title. They, didn't, yeah. they never said they anything. Never said there was it, yeah. a bunch of, like, rumors. That's true. And that was an amazing moment. Was, yeah. Yeah. I could see how they do it at the event and maybe just to get the words out they leaked it true <laughs> maybe you know that's all marketing other random match that was listed was oscar and amber moon again i'm always excited to see oscar versus amber moon i always wanted amber moon to be the one to end the streak i did too i think we all did right? honestly the way they were building her mm -hmm. she was the one and right now amber moon has nothing nothing she's just a wolf girl but she's cute she's the she <laughs> Ooh. I don't even know what that means. She, and the main event, Nikki Bella versus Ronda Rousey, which will be a big headliner. Do you think Nikki would turn heel before this? Or do you think she would work face, really earn the title shot, I and usually, win, and be our fearless Raw Women's I champion? usually, like, I want to see, like, Ronda kind of struggle. Yeah. Right now, the thing that's missing with Ronda Rousey is that she doesn't have struggle. And then Alexa for the will help the Bellas dethrone Ronda, and then Nikki can put her fearless side plates on it. Oh, I think you just have your fantasies. I am Nikki. getting I, so wet right now. I'm dry. Let me say that be wet. Like, <laughs> could Nikki be a champion in this new Let's be honest. Era? If Nikki Bella wins the main event, because this is a pay-per-view that has to end, like, feel good. I think a lot of people would feel good about it. 
They were, they were so <laughs> great. I think I speak for everyone. The other big news this week was history was made. <laughs> Renee Young is the first ever full female time. full time announced team. That's awesome. Proud of her. I'm kind of not surprised. I really love her because they put her on Total Divas, mm -hmm. even though she's like not like a wrestler or anything. She was leading the kickoff show next to Legend. She was the like, yeah. lead person. <clears throat> she's doing Mae Young Classics right now with Michael Cole and Beth Phoenix. And I have That's to awesome. say, no shade to Lita, but the commentary is really good this year. Because <laughs> last year it was kind of difficult to hear. The cast of Netflix's Glow was interviewed about which WWE superstars they want to have as guests on the show for mm -hmm. season three. They had some interesting answers. Bella Twins and Nia Jax. Oh, Nia would be mm -hmm. awesome. And then AJ Lee. Wow. I know, that was kind of random, right? Kind of, yeah. yeah. Bella Twins and Nia Jax, they're on Total Divas. Mm -hmm. So I could see how like people outside of the industry would know them. Yeah. But also AJ Lee is still in like mainstream audiences mm -hmm. mind as D woman. She's been in the main story for a long, long time. Yeah. Is she like just turned off from WWE or she just really doesn't want to wrestle anymore? Cause like it kind of sucks that she's not yeah. taking part in like any of all this cool stuff happening. I mean, you got the signed book yeah, from that was AJ. Cool. Thank you, AJ. If you read the book, you will see like how she seems pretty contempt with her career in mm -hmm. WWE and she's like, it's a nice book ending for her. Yeah. I think she'll get that itch one day. You think so? I think so. <laughs> yeah, it she always bites so them. So yeah. passionate. Mm -hmm. I think like something is going to pop off. I mean, who else was on it? I think Brooke Hogan was on it. Oh yeah, she yeah. was like one of the like uh, agents or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, um, it was kind of like a random yeah. appearance. I don't know. I don't know about Bella Twins. Oh my God. I Hello. think they'd be great. Oh God, because they're going to Vegas this season. They'd they be are. perfect. They could be like the glamorous showgirls that are now wrestlers. And they're like, yeah, you know, we've been doing this for so long. And like, that would be great for sure. Them. Who would you want to see if you could put somebody on? Uh, Becky Lynch. I think she's proving every week that she can actually act. Oh yeah. Didn't she go to like acting school? I think she said she that did, she like, went to acting or school. Something yeah. like that. She's yeah. done like everything. Another rumor floating around is that there could be a potential double turn at Hell in the Cell between Becky Lynch and Charlotte. Swapping being heel and face? Yeah. According to Wrestling oh. Observer Radio, uh, WWE could be planning a double turn in Becky and Charlotte's match at Hell in the Cell. Because currently, Becky's the heel and Charlotte's the face. Previous rumor was that they want to keep Charlotte as the top face of the company until the WrestleMania potential storyline with Ronda Rousey. Okay. But they might have changed, changed their it? mind. Yeah. That would leave me to believe that Becky's getting her moment. Maybe cut a promo and be like, okay guys, you know, like, I'm so happy to be champion and, you know, I, I'm sorry for how I acted mm -hmm. and maybe she tries to apologize to Charlotte. I almost thought this rumor was saying that Charlotte's gonna win by cheating. I can see that too because even the way, like, Charlotte's been talking to her because, like, when she told her she was second best, I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, that was kind of very heel of you to say. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Either way, all these rumors coming in, it's just Dang. making this- Even this, juicier. Yeah. Now yeah. I'm like super excited. Mm -hmm. oh. There's a big shot in the training center. Yeah. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock's daughter, is currently training at WWE Performance Center. That is amazing. That is amazing, yeah. You know what happened to The Rock's family. They all go to the top. Do they? Roman. Naya. I mean, she did say that yeah. she didn't mention about the fact that she is Darak's family for a long time. Yeah. Either way, it's it might be their DNA or it might be their little pull from Darak, but they're, they're always successful. Curious to see what Simone, that's her name. She's 17. She's so cute though. She's very cute. She's oh still in gosh. high school. I do love so much when like the women are either inspired by mm -hmm. one of the like legends or um, even just like their husband or whatever who mm -hmm. is like very uh, popular and mm -hmm. they like take it and make it their own mm -hmm. like I love that it always works like Brie with Daniel Lana with Rusev mm -hmm. and... also it gives them more like story to pull from yeah mm -hmm. it'd be cool to see her like bust out a rock bottom last news is Lana is not happy with her 2k19 <laughs> model who is she? right I'm waiting for the ravishing Russian she's so upset very but yeah. I mean I don't blame her I personally love her model especially being a woman mm -hmm. you may put a lot into her look Look. Yes, and true. you know if I go on a live event and you know I don't have this hair at the moment because mm -hmm. I'm getting it fixed up or whatever mm -hmm. the case may be and I'm wearing my hair black why the hell would you put me in the game mm -hmm. instead of my 
Yeah. Rainbow. Yeah. 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 I just don't know how like professional it was from like Lana's perspective to like blast. To yeah, I wouldn't have went on Twitter like, like that, that on but... social. But so. I see, I see your perspective. How yeah. like she's her character in the ring, Lana has ponytail. Right. And or just her long ravishing well, hair. Long hair. Yeah. yeah. So that is probably very important to her character. But yeah. to take that away in this game. Would have been very upsetting. Yeah, yeah, especially since like all her models before they had super long hair. She's mm -hmm. like, nah, I'm playable. You can really give me that short bob. Yeah, and especially the fact that they always put that Trish in that ugly ass hair. But I mean, I still thought she looked good, and I, girl, you rock that bob. Yeah. Yes, you do. But just not in the game. We <laughs> should. We should. Just not in the game. Game, but it's okay. All right. So that was news <laughs> and rumors. Yeah.